So now that we've seen our procrastination style, how do we better regulate it? Well, if you haven't already, I have a video up here about how to have more self-awareness when it comes to your procrastination styles. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can start to better regulate your procrastination. If you're unaware, emotional intelligence or EQ is comprised of four parts. You have self-awareness, self-regulation, empathy, and motivation. We're gonna focus on the first two when it comes to procrastination. So in the other video, we went over self-awareness. So you need to have the awareness of when you're doing the procrastination, and then you can start to work to regulate it. So how do we regulate our procrastination? Well, let's say our style is clean procrastination. So we clean the house instead of doing the hard thing that we know we need to be doing. So how do we go about regulating that? Well, let's take a lesson from James Clear. When you want to make new habits, you need to reduce the friction to generating those new habits. And you, <clears throat> when you want to make new habits, you need to reduce the friction to making those new habits happen. And when you want to stop habits, you want to increase the friction to keep them from happening. So how do we do that? For example, with clean procrastination. Well, what's the hard thing you need to be doing? Is it something work-related? What is it? How can you remove the barriers so that it's easier for you to start that activity? Once you get started, once you take that first step and have a little bit of momentum in that activity, it's much easier to maintain momentum than it is to start it. That's how momentum works. So we want to help you get some momentum on the things that move the needle for you in your day instead of keeping you idle. So if you clean the house, maybe that feels like you're getting a lot done, but in reality, the thing that's still at the top of your to-do list or the thing you know you need to be doing to move the needle for you isn't getting done. So what can you do to reduce that friction? And again, I don't have any silver bullets for you, but I am trying to give you some tools so you can go make your own silver bullets. So go make your silver bullet and slay your demons. So you need to be paying attention. So you need to have that self-awareness. You need to be able to see the thing first. I go over it in the other video, how to see it. And now, now that you see it, we need to start doing our habit stacking. So we need to reduce the friction to help you better start, take that first step on that thing you need to be doing instead of procrastinating and doing these things that could wait. The last thing I'll share that's been very helpful for me when it comes to procrastination is Instead of writing things on a to-do list, if it's only a few minute task, just do the thing. This is crazy. This one actually has saved me so much time recently because I used to do to-do list and to-do list and to-do list. And now it's just, if there's a two minute task, instead of spending 30 seconds writing the task down so I can remember it later, I just go and do the task. Wow. That sounds really asinine when I say it out loud, but this actually saves a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's helped me from procrastinating because one of my procrastination styles is literally making lists. <laughs> so when it comes to me, I have to try to reduce my to-do list because that's actually a procrastination style because then the thing is just gonna sit on a list and never get done. And I have another video about that, about how you need to make to-do lists and then those top five things in your to-do list that you know you need to do are the things you actually should be working on and the rest of them you probably don't need to do. This is a bit of a nuanced topic here, but in terms of actually stopping your procrastination, you gotta reduce the friction and just kill some of those smaller tasks off so they don't linger around forever. Do you have a great system that helps you for procrastinating? You should drop a comment below if so, because I'm always open to learning new things. I find this habit stacking and then trying to just kill things off my to-do list instead of putting more things on the to-do list is optimal for me. So now that you're not procrastinating, you should go and start growing your emotional intelligence. There's no better place than at this playlist up here. Or if you're ready to get into social intelligence or SQ, got a playlist ready for you right down here. Or you can keep doing what you've been doing and getting all the same results you've been getting.